hypnal conditions here in Cambridgeshire. There's a, a little wind as the shirts, the blue and white shirts of Barry Bannon and uh, Windass below a little on the halfway line. Wednesday looking to start quickly as they, from the start of the match, work the ball between them. Windass and Bannon trying to cut a dash through the middle of the park and sensing danger. The goalkeeper might have does his best to slide to try and keep the ball from going out of play for a corner and it hasn't worked seconds into the match here at the Abbey Stadium to be taken by Bannon floated into the middle Hennigan with heads rising wins the ball in the air if you've got somebody there who's got a really sweet left foot as well it could cause a problem well the ball is won back well on the corner of the penalty area by Volks the former Cardiff City midfielder he presses forward into midfield before is dispossessed then Brophy getting into the thick of the action again and potentially a little break on here down the far side for Nibs but Palmer's with him stride for stride and Palmer just eases Nibs off the ball and launches it towards halfway in good form Lee and Palmer both uh, in front of goal and uh, over on the right-hand side of the pitch on that occasion. Backinson tries to tease one through the middle and a chance now for Wednesday. Gregory's through on oh. goal and it's a delightful finish and the perfect start for Sheffield Wednesday as Lee Gregory stands in front of a joyous away end and celebrates with the Sheffield Wednesday supporters. Put through beautifully by Backinson. It was Gregory who raced up to the edge of the penalty area and as Mitov came crashing out on the floor, it was a deft touch over the Bulgarian and into the back of the net. Wednesday wasting no time in getting going here. It's Cambridge nil. The Owls won. Here Wednesday, who lead by a goal to nil. The ball is played down the line by Palmer. It's controlled off the chest of Josh Windass, who lays a beautiful crossfield ball now to Bannon on the left-hand side of the penalty area. Johnson now teasing it back stick, but it just peels away from Michael Smith, but Smith keeps it in play. Back to Windass on the right-hand corner of the penalty area. He shoots, but that shot is blocked at point-blank range there by the covering player, Simper. And now Wednesday come again. Cushioned header by Bannon to the near side. Johnson lays it down the line and Bannon's peeled away. He's got time and space to lay in the cross. It's a driven cross to Smith, who glances it back to Volks, who awkwardly hits it on the volley. It bounces into the turf. Someone to keep an eye on, and Marvin Johnson uh, did just that. Uh, so, yes, Shiloh Tracy will be problematic, perhaps, as the afternoon goes on, but Marvin Johnson, twice now in the game, has uh, had his number defensively. Yeah, up, oh... Well, That's Michael late. Smith has gone through on Mitov, who cleared the ball high into the stand. Michael Smith has his arms out wide in protest of his innocence and gets a yellow card for that late challenge as Mitov is clutching his left ankle and um, throwing his uh, fists into the turf. Mitov's all right. <laughs> anyway, clearing out of hand. It's uh, cleared up the middle of the pitch. Ehequa, who had his own injury issues earlier in the game. Palmer will spin on a sixpence on the corner of the penalty area and uh, lever it away. Now Simpa into Digby. Digby nudges it forward. Well, the ball here at the Abbey Stadium in uh, autumnal, very nice autumnal conditions. The trees over the back of the single-tiered stand on the far side. Cambridge are in possession, but it's Wednesday who have the lead and are quite prepared to let the home side have it. Here's uh, George Williams, former Barnsley man, of course, promoted with them uh, via the uh, playoff final. Now driving into the penalty area, Sam Smith brings David Stockdale into the game for the first time today, and the goalkeeper all in pink. Races out at his near post to block on the half hour, and the goal goes out of play. The ball goes out of play for a corner. Yeah, Smith at Cambridge just uh, span heading in there in the, the centre half in the 18-yard box, and here's Michael Ihequa looking for promotion for a second successive year. The uh, head bandaged Ben Hennigan will nudge it back to Stockdale, who's only made one save today or needed to make one save today, and then Vox sends the ball to the left-hand side, peeling away Bannon, wins it at the dead ball line, in goes the cross, Taylor back there defending, good header away, only as far as Bannon to the left-hand side, Johnson to Bannon again, starting to make things tick for Wednesday in the attacking centre, and a reverse ball up to the edge of the penalty area, but uh, in the end there were too many back in amber and black, and it's Williams who clears the ball away. 
cushioned header into the middle of the park by Tracy. Picked up by Tyreek Backinson and a glorious forward ball into Smith who shoots! And at the near post, Mitov makes the save, parrying it behind for a corner. And that was a brilliant ball again from Backinson. I think it was with the outside of his right boot. It yeah. peeled behind the defender. I uh, seem to remember George Williams. His only Cambridge goal is the goal he scored against Sheffield Wednesday here when the two sides met in the league last season. And Wednesday recovered, of course, with uh, Delhi Bashiri. Now Palmer with time and space to canter forward, on to Windass out on the right-hand side. Good-looking cross for Smith! And the downward header saved on the goal line by a stooping Mitov. Again, yet more good build-up play from Sheffield Wednesday. In a second, here's Brophy, who uh, swivels away from Gregory. Cambridge retreat to halfway and Taylor now look to build an attack down the right. The ball into the middle from Williams is picked up by Nibs, who shoots. And he's blocked by Backinson, who continues his good performance today. Comfortable at half-time. Uh, not having it all their own way in the second half, but Gregory, who scored the goal, will win the header on the edge of the centre circle and it's helped wide out towards the far side. Now here is Bannon, underused in the second half, rolling the ball down the line, Johnson at the dead ball line, firing in the cross, might have got there, pushed it up with the first save and then managed to claw it away from the goal mouth with the second, just as Windass was lurking for any scraps, none in the end were forthcoming. And Wednesday, who lead here by a goal to nil, and you thought that change was coming, didn't you? and was necessary given the fact that Wednesday have not really been as at it in the second half as in the first. And now we'll see, but we'll see if that's about to change again as Windass centres the ball. Shooting chance for Lee Gregory, and the ball is wide, courtesy of some excellent defending there by Cambridge. Well, League One is uh, bubbling along nicely, isn't it? And uh, vastly important that Wednesday stay in contention for the uh, the title MK Dons 1 Plymouth 4 is the uh, scoreline involving the uh, the league leaders and uh, Sheffield Wednesday's next opponents Ipswich are still losing at home to Lincoln wide we're off we'll head off to Bramall Lane in a tick big drama there as Gregory oh! just and drifts the ball in well goodness me that is a wonderful finish from Lee Gregory Goal drought certainly over, his second of the game, and it was the cutest of volleys from across from the right-hand side. In it went to Gregory, who got the merest of touches to the ball. I think he was slightly off the ground. On the left-hand side of the back three, Wednesday have possession now through Bannon and Volks, who's been strong today. Yehekwa crosses the halfway line on the right and now Palmer's tied to the touchline Palmer drives in field for the Owls to Bannon takes the first touch his second is just to slip away from the attention placed on him then he curls one but the uh, curling shot on that trusty left boot of his brings a flying save to the right by Mitov and uh, he makes the catch didn't need to do much defending because it was Cambridge who give the ball away so Wednesday 2-0 up Barnsley on for a goal, a straw at Bolton as uh, the shot comes in from Lancaster, slip sliding on the deck. There are one or two bodies down there. It's been, a, from Cambridge's point of view, they've really been very toothless going forward. No injection. So the referee does call full-time. It's victory for Sheffield Wednesday, who've seen off Cambridge by two goals to nil. That's seven wins from ten matches and another away victory in the bag. Both goals coming from Lee Gregory, the first a deft touch over the outrushing keeper, Mitov, in the first half. The second, a cheeky volley from close range that Mitov didn't see coming.